Hello, my name is Adam Fournier. I'm a beverage director here in Los Angeles, California. I am also the 2021 USBG Presents World Class sponsored by Diageo Bartender of the Year. I am also a massive fan of whiskey and I'm very happy to be here today to talk to you about Johnny Walker and to demo for you one of the cocktails I actually use on my journey to becoming the Bartender of the Year this past year. Now, before we get into that cocktail, I would love to talk to you a little about the brand history of Johnny Walker and what makes it such an iconic whiskey. And to do that, we got to go all the way back to 1819 and John Walker himself when he opened his own grocery store. Pretty soon after opening that store, he started blending his stock of single malt whiskeys together to create a consistent whiskey for his com uh, customers. This created something that was of great quality and of consistent nature that started to gain a little bit of notoriety. Upon his death, John's son, Alexander, took his father's blends and launched Johnny Walker's very first commercial blend, Old Highland Whiskey. Now, what Alexander did incredibly intelligently is he also commissioned the captains of ships to carry his whiskey wherever they sailed. This led to a consistent, far-reaching distribution that you can still see with Johnny Walker today. It also helped to influence a lot of the design of Johnny Walker, including the iconic shape of the bottle. You can pack more square bottles together than you can round. You're also going to have a lot less breakage on long sea travels. Today, Johnny Walker is now the world's best-selling Scotch whiskey with 196 unrivaled stocks. They have the blending notes of six different generations of master blenders to help them understand the role of experiments in developing cutting-edge innovations with over 200 years of blending whiskey experience. They also have a team of 12 blenders, which are led by Dr. Jim Beveridge, his real name, uh, who is a man with an encyclopedic knowledge of scotch and is an acknowledged genius when it comes to understanding the flavor compounds of whiskeys. This is all saying there's a lot of science and detail going into creating the wonder that is inside that Johnny Walker bottle. Now, this is a lot of the above ground stuff, but what goes into actually making the physical whiskey itself? Well, the production starts with the malting of cereal grains, we be that barley, corn, or other grains. These cereal grains are dried and ground in a mill, and then hot water is added to extract the soluble sugars. Once this uh, wort is drawn off, it is allowed to cool before the yeast is added to jumpstart fermentation. This creates a kind of beer, but I probably wouldn't recommend drinking it just quite yet. It's still got a few more steps to go. This beer is then distilled twice in a copper pot still. This lowers the water content and helps to concentrate the alcohol and flavor components of these whiskeys. But even before that, it's not actually whiskey. To become whiskey, this distillate is then placed in a specially treated oak cast, and it has to be aged for a minimum of three years in Scotland to gain the designation of Scotch whiskey. After that, the various types of grain whiskeys are blended together to create the various types of Scotch whiskey. And keep in mind that while it has to be a minimum of three years, anytime you see an age statement on a bottle, like for instance, Johnny Walker Black Label with his 12-year-old age statement, that is the youngest whiskey that's in there. They're not just doing the bare minimum here. They're putting the extra mile in and walking hard. All of this means that the brand has won numerous accolades over the years, including in 2020, the San Francisco World Spirits Competition, three double gold awards, six silver awards, and a single bronze award. All of this is really just scratching the surface of what makes Johnny Walker such a unique and powerful icon in the whiskey world. If you want to learn more, please join the community, follow along at any of these wonderful social media websites, add your voice to the conversation, maybe post a photo of you making the cocktail I'm about to teach you how to make right now, which is one that I use for the national finals of the USBG Presents World Class sponsored by Diageo Competition, the Pina Cillin. Oh, well, would you look at that? We're at the bar now, which means it's finally time for me to do as I promised and make for you one of the drinks that I made on my journey to becoming the world-class bartender of the year, the Johnny Walker Black Penicillin. Now, this is a very easy riff on the classic penicillin that you can make for yourself in the comfort of your own home. But before we start walking through all the ingredients for it, we wanna make sure all the equipment that we need to make this drink is in place. So first up, this is a shaken drink, which means you're going to want a cocktail shaker or other vessel with a lid that you can add ice and liquid to and give a good hard shake to without spilling. You're gonna want some jiggers or a measuring cup, really anything that allows you to accurately measure and pour your ingredients. You're also gonna to wanna to have your glass ready and waiting. You don't wanna to have to be sitting around for that. You're also gonna want something to strain off your shaking ice. I've got my trusty pair of Hawthorne and fine strainer here, but literally anything with a lid that holds back that ice will do the trick for you at home. 
But speaking of ice, you do want to have it nice and close on hand. Remember, as I keep saying, the better the ice, the better the shake, the better your final cocktail will be. All right, I think we're all set and ready to go. So let's start pouring. I also like to start, as I've said before, with my smallest ingredients and work my way up. So that way, if there is a mistake, it's a small one. So with that in mind, we're going to start with what I like to call a short half or a fat quarter of honey syrup. This is a two to one honey syrup. That means it's two parts honey to one part water. Really just makes it easier to pour. We're going to follow that up by the same amount, let's call it three eighths, of a one to one ginger syrup. This is fresh juice, ginger juice mixed with equal parts by weight sugar and whisked together till it's fully incorporated. Gives that nice, bright, spicy characteristic. All right, and now we end up with what makes this our penicillin, a full half ounce of fresh pineapple juice. What this does is it really pulls forward those bright tropical notes of Johnny Walker Black, taking them in the background all the way up to the foreground. Next after that, we've got three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice for just a little touch of brightness. But then, the real star of our show, a full ounce and a half of Johnny Walker Black Label. All right. Everything's in our tin. We're ready for our ice. But before I add my ice for shaking, I always like to make sure my glass is completely prepped and ready for my drink. So I'm going to add my ice there first, so that way I'm not waiting around at the end of this. But now we go ahead and add our ice to the tin. And let's go ahead and shake. All right. Go ahead and double strain over your waiting glass. And you can see that fresh pineapple juice really does add that extra little bit of frothiness and aeration to this drink. Adds a wonderful extra texture as well. All right, make sure everything is out of that tin. Then to finish it off, you're going to hit it with a few mists of Lagavulin 16. Give it that nice peaty aromatics without getting any of that extra smoke in the drink. Well, there you have it. You have your very own world-class cocktail, the Johnny Walker Black Penicillin. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that drink as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Again, my name is Adam Fournier. Hope to see you the next time you're in Los Angeles. Until then, on behalf of Diageo, the USBG, and Johnny Walker, I want to thank you for joining us here today. And I want to remind you to enjoy responsibly.